everyone, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Well, I finally got out a bit today. It's uh, been a few days since I left my home and uh, getting cabin fever here. Really needed to get out, but I can't stand the cold and it's only going to get worse from here on in. So should really take advantage of it while I can. And I did need to get a light bulb for my oven because it blew, so I did buy a couple of them. So I want to change the one that's bad and a spare to keep in house in case I need one. And yeah, they're special light bulbs. Anyway, uh, for those of you who watched my uh, video on making gnocchi with um, spinach, I want to uh, s let it be known that gnocchi is just another form of pasta. So any way that you would, well, some of the ways that you would cook up pasta you can use gnocchi for. So uh, your traditional um, bread sauce you can use. You can use a white sauce, uh, make that and mix your gnocchi in. The other thing you can do with these is that you can fry them in a little bit of oil and butter and then just sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Uh, we probably will do a uh, marinara sauce with meatballs on the side. So that's probably how we will eat them tonight. Another night we might just fry them up and sprinkle them with Parmesan cheese. And actually, when we don't feel like cooking, that is one of the easy meals that we do. We'll just cook up some pasta, put a little bit of butter, and sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese, and that's really tasty. And normally we would use um, penne or, uh, you know, some form of dry pasta for that, or the ones that you would normally use in a pasta salad. Um, I forget what those are called offhand, but yeah. Uh, we would uh, use that type of pasta for that kind of meal. That's a quick and easy one. We, neither one of us actually feel like putting a meal together. So just to let anyone know, there's nothing mysterious about gnocchi. They're just little potato dough balls. And uh, yes, they can be cooked a number of ways. So, so, okay. I did want to touch on probably another video that I did a while back, and that was um, called, you know, uh, is this the calm before the storm? And one of my subscribers said, no, this is the storm, and I believe she is probably right, that we are in the thick of the storm at this point. It's just where, you know, how bad will it get? And my personal belief is that we're not going to see the full brunt of anything until the new year. I think we're going to be spared as much as we can for the Christmas season, if it's at all possible. And uh, then, SHIT, she will hit the fan. Um, likely in the new year, in a number of ways. We are already seeing people on edge about everything and that isn't surprising considering how many issues people are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis it just seems to be never-ending that something else is affecting your life and the pandemic was bad enough for a couple of years and just as we think we're coming out of that then we're hit with a major inflation job losses, likely home losses, and I think that's what we're going to see a lot of in the new year. And uh, price of food going through the roof. How bad will the shortages be? We don't know. Hopefully you've all been stocking up. I continue to stock up as much as I can. I, I don't <laughs> Mark said he went into one of the closets looking for something and he was surprised to see buckets buckets on top of buckets in my closet and uh, yeah that's there's there's you know it, it's getting to the point where I may just empty that closet out altogether and use it for nothing but food storage uh, the, 
point is that no matter how much I buy now, it's likely going to be cheaper than what I'm going to pay for it next year. And certainly what I bought a year or two ago was a lot cheaper than what I'm paying for today. So has a storm hit? Yeah, it likely has. Um, seems as though we've averted a strike with the railroads for the time being. And uh, <clears throat> how successful that will be to mitigate issues going forward is still to be seen. We know that there are problems in China and problems in China do translate to problems in North America. There's no, there's no doubt about it. There are problems in Russia and that translates into problems for Europe because Europe was buying their fuel from Russia. So it seems Western civilization is taking the full brunt of change and not necessarily change for the better. The Canada's having its own issues, no doubt about it. We just had um, a review of why the Emergency um, Act, the Emergencies Act was invoked. And personally, I still don't believe there was any justification for it. And uh, those that invoked it claimed that they were justified. Whether they will suffer any penalties for any of that is hard to say, not likely. Perhaps only uh, next time there's an election, if, uh... anyway, on top of that, federal government is initiating a very, very serious gun ban that's been going on for probably a year now, and uh, they've added hunting rifles in that gun ban, and that's going to get ugly. They claim, no, 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 they're not after hunters and sports shooters, but yes, they are. So that's a fairly serious issue for quite a number of people. And Alberta has um, introduced a Sovereignty Act and likely with a fair amount of justification. It seems as though Alberta is always taking the hit and uh, Quebec is always gaining the advantage. Alberta's economy is being decimated in a number of ways and one of them of course is the um, trying to shut down the oil and gas industry. So. Lots going on, lots going on, lots to be concerned about, and I don't think it's going to get any better in the near future. I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, so yes, we are, the storm is here, the storm has approached, and we are in the middle of it. Where can, where can we take shelter? The issue is there's still too many people that don't see it that haven't seen it coming, don't understand that we're in the thick of it, they think this is normal, okay, prices will go up and they'll go down, and when they get inflation under control, everything will be honky-dory. I have a sneaking suspicion that it won't. Um, um, the fact that we're seeing China rise up now, and it's been I don't know how long ago it was the last one. Tiananmen Square was quite a while back, somewhere around 30 years ago. And same thing with Iran, and sadly with Iran, it's young girls and young women that are leading that fight. There's also talk in Canada of a second trucker's convoy. I. I just heard a rumor to that effect. I have no idea if that will actually come to fruition, but I have heard that the government is planning to um, make sure that they are 
ready for one should it, it occur. So they must know something we don't. But as yet, I have not heard of a trucker's convoy. And I certainly will not be going to Ottawa in the middle of February. Too darn cold. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Oh, and of course, Musk releasing all this information. on some of the things that have been kept from us and the media ignoring it all. So, big issue is what has the media been ignoring over the last two, three, four, five, ten years and what have they been presenting us with? So, keep everyone dumb and stupid. Don't let them know what's going on. And when people start finding out what's going on, they'll be held to pay. Anyway, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I hope you enjoy these few thoughts that I've been willing to share with you. I am uh, fully um, expecting everyone else to come up with and share their own ideas. And I welcome it. And I will not um, give my... <clears throat> what's the word uh, um, I will not say this is a great idea and that's not a great idea and this is right and that's right it, it, it's everybody's ideas are valuable and um, I'm just trying to open that door to, to everyone to communicate and actually consult and try to find solutions and between you all perhaps maybe one of you can inspire the other it's not always, you never know who's going to inspire you to um, move forward on, a, on something valuable. Anyway, as I said, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed my little talk, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.